Hi, I'm Sabin Yaakov. This presentation is entitled BJT Emitter Follower Riddle or subtitled A Big TI Goofing in Peak Current Mode Controllers Data Sheets. There is a relevant video. Here is the link. It's in my YouTube channel. I'm also going to put the link at the page of this video that you are now watching. Uh, this uh, video covers peak current mode, which I'm sort of touching on it. It's not that important, but whoever wants to learn a little bit more about it, and then here is the link. So let me start with a short background. The problem that I'm referring to here is mixing two signals. Suppose you have a signal like this, a triangular signal, there is a pulse like this, and you like to mix them together in an analog way. And one way to do that, of course, would be to put two resistors here, so you get here a sort of a superposition, addition of these two, and this is just a filter uh, capacitor. So this is the issue that I'm referring to. This arrangement is done here in this controller, which is a peak current mode controller. Again, I'm not going into this subject at all, just to say that we have two signals here. Here is one signal, and here's a follower, a meter follower. It's a BJT transistor, drawn a little bit funny, but it's a BJT transistor. And then there is a capacitor, a decoupling capacitor, a resistor, there is another resistor which goes here, and here we're going to have pulses of this shape. So the purpose of these two resistors is actually to mix them together to this sense point, and again here is a filter capacitor. So this is the circuit that I'm referring to. We have a signal, we have a buffer, a meter forward, we have a resistor, we have a, another resistor, which is sort of mixing the two. And just to look at the problem in a sort of isolated circuit, this is what we want to do, and this is how TI in the datasheet is showing it, rather than going directly from the source, going through a emitter follower with this capacitor, and then mixing these two signals. So this is the circuit I'm talking about. And the riddle is, is the emitter follower circuit okay? Well, you'd guess that it's not. And the second question is, how does this emitter follower really work? And if it is not okay, what is wrong and why? And if it is not okay, how can it be fixed? So that's the riddle. I'll be very happy to get some answers. And in forthcoming video, I'll give a full detailed answer to all these questions. So this is the end of this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to get some answers to the riddle. Thank you very much.